Hi Libra, welcome to your September What You Need to Know Right Now Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're looking at uh, whatever you need to know. So many messages may come out here. So I always say we're looking at love, we're looking at work, money, career, finances, whatever, whatever you need to know about anything. I'm going to tell you what I see. So it could be many, many messages. So only take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. All right. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. Could be a reading for you. So welcome in Libra. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Do let me uh, know in the comment section after you watch this reading if you enjoyed it. And um, I like to put this in rotation every month, something a little different. And I'll still be doing all the uh, same other love readings I have been doing. Just I like to throw in something a little bit different. All right. Okay, Libra. So let's see. We have two of pentacles. Two is our about choices, decisions. It also can be about partnerships and unities but we have here you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage it's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do two pentacles can feel a little overwhelmed got too much on your plate maybe working two jobs uh feeling like maybe some something in your life is up in the air and you're not sure which way to go or how it's going to turn out or what the outcome is going to be. It could be weighing the pros and cons and a little off balance as well. Sorry, my chair. We have the five of wands. Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So you may be in conflict right now about, uh, things in your life like too many responsibilities too many things going on and a little conflicted about what do i do with all this mess because you kind of see the balls are on there and kind of starting to create a mess so you may be it could be a lot of conflict going on around you your own inner conflict and you're like okay what can i do to alleviate some of this mess that's definitely what i'm feeling here ten of cups happy home and family tens are about completions endings and new beginnings Fives are also about change and conflict. So we have here, it's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or chosen family or close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, ta uh, talented children. I was going to say talented, but maybe some of you do have talented children. That's happy home and family. Your family life, some of you who are in a relationship um, of some kind, your, or say it's just you and your kids or say you're living with somebody or you're married or whatever the case may be or maybe this is something that happened in the past where there was so much conflict going on and such an unbalanced energy that maybe it caused you know a big upheaval in your family life and we have the page of cups you can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship you may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event some of you um i mean we do have two people here but you don't have to be in a relationship because we got the page of cups here which could be indicating a new relationship it also says here sensitive kind open-hearted and inexperienced it's because that's because it's a young energy some of you may have a child that's now like a young adult kind of leaving the nest or maybe something happened with a young child or young adult in um adult child in your life um well i don't want to say a young adult child that doesn't make any sense but um maybe like a teenager or something like that but for some of you i do feel like that maybe in the past you had a lot of conflicting things going on in your life or maybe you know whatever the case may be inner conflict that maybe caused a big upheaval in a uh, relationship you were in maybe some of you are single now but some of you also if you're going through a lot right now say with 
immediate family and a lot lot going on a lot of conflicting things feeling all over the place you could have a blossoming of new romance here and you're like oh my god how do i fit this into my life because i got so much going on i got kids i'm working two jobs i got some conflict going on in my family say you know with siblings or parents or whatever the case may be so you, i just feel like you got a lot going on right now but you have like your chance to be happy here as well so all right libra so let's see what we have for you. Everything you need to know, Libra, is down below. Your playlist is down there, as well as the list of readings I do here. I'm not going to be doing the moon readings anymore, but um, you can find the list below of the readings I will be doing. In my backup channel, I'm not uploading right now over there, but if you don't want to lose me, if, say, something happens here, you definitely will find me over there. All right, Libra, let's see. Well, we've got the nice sword, so something happening very quickly. That's Aquarius for me, but that could be you. So this could be your own doing or something coming into your energy. So, or something just happening very quickly. Ten of Cups reverse. So you got the Ten of Cups twice here. One's upright, one's reverse. So we got contradictory energies here. So let's see. Ooh, Ten of Wands. The Sun. So there's your chance to be very, very happy. I'm feeling like you may have some sort of interference coming in here with the Knight of Swords that may wreak havoc on your happiness so be forewarned so i don't know if this is like um, a family member a friend or maybe your job is pushing more work onto you asking you to work more hours um it could be like legal matters just things popping up here that may cause unexpected maybe with this knight of swords and very chaotic as well I mean, we do have the five of wands up there over here as well that may you know uh, kind of upset you a little bit. So let's see. It of sorts. And maybe something that you feel obligated or stuck. Th so there could be something in here where you're feeling obligated that you have to do something. Because the eight of swords is feeling stuck here. And the first thing I got was feeling like you're obligated, like you have to do something. And now your energy is stuck. So something's coming in here. It's going to disrupt your happiness. Ten of Wands, very blocked energy overworked overwhelmed overburdened but the sun is like it's your right to be happy and you don't have to do anything that you don't have to do you don't have to be obligated to do anything you don't want to do either so that could be you libra or it could be aquarius and we also have leo here it could be signs um your chart somebody else's chart sun moon rising venus it doesn't have to be just um but you know take it how it resonates so seven of cups so you may be a little confused like what do i do here emperor it could be, like I said, a boss. Some of you may have a boss that comes in all of a sudden they try to overwhelm you with like more work, more hours, overtime. And you're like, no, I don't want to do that. Three of Wands. So something could be happening in the near future. And this could be you looking out for the future. You could be looking out for like your children. So if you do have children, um, you may be looking, you know, ahead for your children. Like, you know, I want to spend time with my children. I want to be with my children. I don't want to be working 10 hours a day and not be with my children. You know, what kind of parent is, I'm not putting anybody down, but you may be saying that to yourself, like, you know, who would do that? Some of you may have somebody coming in here in your future who could be like a true masculine energy. Um, they may have children too, or whatever the case may be. Nine of Cups in reverse. So not feeling totally happy. So not celebrating either. So it's definitely um, some of you, you know, you may be a little overwhelmed. Seven of Cups here, a little unhappy. And at the same time, this is going on. You may, like I said, have a new romance. Someone coming in here who is like a true counterpart energy. Could be coming like three days, three weeks. Um, and could have children. It could be somebody from the past, um, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling more like they may have children for some of you. Let's see. Um, maybe you have children, like I said. Knight of Pentacles. So something is a long time coming here. Five of Pentacles. Now, you may have asked for a raise. Maybe it's been a long time coming. And, you know, if they decide, well, we're going to give you a raise, but now we want you to work more hours. And you're like, well, what kind of trade-off is that? You know? <laughs> that's not really right so i'm kind of feeling that uh as well i'm feeling like something's happening here where 
it's like how can I put this it's like something that's going to be seem like it's going to be better but then it comes with consequences and you're like well what kind of trade-off is this so that's what I'm kind of getting here and at the same time you I feel like you may have uh, a new how was I say look at that. I just noticed the ace of cups relationship coming in for you Five of Pentacles definitely could be struggling financially, feeling lack. Knight of Pentacles, like maybe struggling for a very, very long time here. Death. So you may be starting to evaluate like what needs to go, what needs to go here. And Ten of Wands could be overwhelmed as well. So like I said, it could be work. It could be just many, many things going on. And Death is like, you know, things need to transform here. I need to let go of some things. It kind of stopped fresh and new as well. So you may not want to do this, but you may have to make some big decisions here with the Two of Swords. So we do have um, Taurus energy here. All right. So let's see, Libra. What else? What else do we need to know here for Libra, September? What you need to know right now for Libra. For Libra. The Knight of Swords could be you taking action very quickly on something as well. Let's see. The world. Definitely it's time for shifts, changes, uh, closing out cycles, new cycles, getting ready to start for you. It could be moving, traveling, or distance as well. Page of Cups is budding new romance here. I definitely feel that. So definitely there's energy here. I, I got to close some things out so I can make room for new things to enter my life. And definitely that could be... A little bit of new romance here with the Page of Cups. Six of Cups. Someone, this person may have children, or maybe you have children. Maybe for some of you, it's someone from the past. So it could have been like a missed opportunity um, or something that just didn't work out at the time because we do have two Page of Cups here. So that's kind of like new energy for me. And we did see that Ace of Cups. So it could be someone from the past. But it was a missed opportunity, so in a way it is a new love, so it could be that as well. Hermit. So definitely uh, withdrawing your energy here and doing some um, self-evaluation, re-evaluation, soul-searching, examining things and saying, okay, I got to do what's best for me. And the page of swords. You may actually like, like get away from everything and everybody and be like, you know, cut off all social media, get off all, all of that and just spend, you may actually go away, like on a little retreat, say, you know, what, I just need to disconnect. I'll say it that way. I need to disconnect and reevaluate my priorities. And I have this budding new romance here that I feel really good about, whether it's new or old person coming back to you or somebody new, it's like, I have to reprioritize and reevaluate definitely here. So we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Aquarius. Let's see. Two of Cups at lot. Yeah, there's a connection here that's brewing. Ten of Swords, but some things have to be cut out. Justice here. So this is doing what's best for you. No truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what you deserve. Universal law and order, things meant to be. Could be a soul contract as well. And the Wheel of Fortune said, so definitely feeling a little bit stuck. Like, how do I make this move? How can I have this move forward? So feeling a little confused. That's definitely why I feel like disconnecting and getting away. Even if you don't literally get away, but just disconnecting and doing that um, introspection is going to really uh, benefit some of you. That is for sure. All right. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. King of Cups in Reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. So if this is somebody from the past that, um, you know, maybe they pulled away and they withdrew themselves. It was a very stressful time for you as well. Also, this could be realizing, you know, what causes me stress and not make me feel great or good with that King of Cups in reverse. And definitely Queen of Swords is my Libra card, realizing, okay, King of Cups it's not a great energy when it's in reverse. It's like, I'm, it doesn't make me feel at peace. It doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't make me feel happy or joyful. It makes me just stressed and not a great energy. So you know what? I'm going to stick up for myself. I'm going to cut out what's no longer serving. I'm going to stand up, tell it like it is as well. Truth, clarity, communication. Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in, re uh, 
Ace of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Cups. So this could be, you know, courting, dating, getting, getting, uh, getting to know, you know, romance moving forward. There's definitely things in your life that you know need to go, that you know you, I can't even speak, you know you don't need to invest any more time, energy, effort into because you don't see any long-term energy there. So whatever that means for you. So person, place, thing, job, situation, nasty boss, a friendship that, you know, it's just not working for me anymore. We've just grown apart. Maybe where you're living. I mean, the world could be re relocating, moving, traveling as well. We have Pisces here again. All right. Libra. So what else do we need to know here for Libra? What else do we need to know here for Libra? All right. So we just do one more line. I just don't want to uh, pull too many cards to get it all mixed up. So doing... Uh, little less tarot cards, but still a lot of messages. All right. Eight of Cups, yeah. Walking away from things no longer serving you. Three of Pentacles, only investing your time, energy into things you know that are going to grow and expand in your favor. You could be learning some new things, maybe on the job. Um, learning new crafts, skills, or learning new tasks, or just like a new part of your job, or you know, a different department, or something like that. Five of Cups. So you've had a lot of sadness, loss, and grief and things of the past. But you're leaving that in the past. Yeah. Stress, anxiety here. And the Page of Pentacles reversed. Again, I feel like here you're not taking these pentacles and investing in them in things that don't serve you anymore. I definitely feel that here with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. They may offer you a little bit of money to stay. Some of you may say, nope, you know, I'm worth more than that. Uh, uh, three Pentacles could be learning a new job as well. So, I mean, um, I, I don't really have that here, but maybe some of you may be finding some sort of new job or you may be taking it upon yourself to learn some new skills in some way. So even if you're having a hard time finding a job right now with the Page of Pentacles, it's like you're going to broaden your skill set in some way so that you have a broader um, range to maybe look for a job or a different type of job or something like that as well. But whatever you're working, walking into is definitely going to grow and expand for you. The Eight of Cups and Three of Pentacles here. All right, so we've got Capricorn energy here. So let's see what else we need to know. Hang man, so feeling a little stuck. Four ones, it could be moving. I mean, that could be a new home, relocating. Uh, moving some of you I mean you could end up moving in or marrying a new person here as well down the road but this is stability and foundation with the four of wands two of wands or so choosing a path that's before you the star things meant to be universal law and order healing balance um wish dream come true things meant to be getting your wishes page one so that could be the new job so if you say, well, like, I'm having a hard time finding a new job, but, you know, I'm going online, I'm doing research, I'm taking some classes, or I'm getting, you know, a license, certificate, maybe a, a degree of some kind, it may benefit you to do that just on your own will to broaden your skill set in different areas or whatever the case may be. So even if you have not had enough time finding a job right now, you definitely would have it coming into here with the page of wants. So it's like you're aligning the energy up for yourself by doing this with the star and the page of wands. So that's part of manifesting as well. It's getting yourself ready and doing those things. And then the universe will deliver it to you as well. Hmm. And that could be, you know, exciting, no romantic prospect as well. It looks like it could be something meant to be here, like I said. All right, so let's see. Nine of Wands, so at times you may be feeling like you're struggling. I mean, we do have the Nine of Ten of Wands, which is saying, you know, that leads to new beginnings, the Ace of Wands, which, did we have the Ace of Wands come out? I don't remember now, but again, I think we did. I think it was in reverse, though, but we have the wheel feeling a little stuck and you're struggling, but it's saying to keep going. You know, this night is about fire, passion, determination, being strong, courageous, and brave, going after what you want, even through the struggles here. Seven of Swords. So don't, you know, that can be running out of fear, avoidance, um, 
I mean, you could have people around you that you know, lying, cheating, stealing, whether it's co-workers, friends, family, whatever the case may be. But chariot here is definitely moving on to bigger and better things, that is for sure. Again, it could be moving, traveling, relocating, success, victory, balance, positive movement forward all the way around the board here. A big change is necessary as well with the tower. Maybe a little unexpected, but you know, it doesn't have to be, but it could be the big shifts that need to take place here, even if it's the universe stepping in. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment as well. All right. So, Libra, let's see. So, I definitely feel like here um, you got a lot going on. It's time to reevaluate, cut things out, no longer serving you. And at the same time, this could be a budding new romance coming in that can make you very happy. Something may disrupt your happiness. I keep getting that, but you're going to know what to do here. Something or someone's going to try to disrupt your flow, your happiness. You'll know what to do. And in the end, uh, greater things are going to come to you. All right, so let's see. Libra. So let's see what this deck wants to say. If this did resonate, again, or like I said, you enjoyed this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. Be greatly appreciated. Any support given is truly appreciated. Again, everything you need is below. Like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this style. Ceremony, invocation. Hmm. So that could be, you know, being invited into maybe like finding a different job or finding something where you're being invited in and you're being um, welcomed in as well. Some of you could be getting engaged, married, or maybe going to something where there's a ceremony, a celebration, mountain strength. So like I said, being strong, courageous, and brave. Don't give up. Stand tall, strong, and proud. That is like Leo energy, with the strength card, and you will overcome. Spring equinox, rebirth. So I do feel like by next spring, you're going to feel refreshed, rebirthed, and like a total turnaround um, from maybe the energy that you're sitting in right now. And lotus flower unfoldment. So things are going to unfold as they should be. You know, the lotus flower does grow in murky waters, but blooms into bright, big, beautiful flowers. So where you may go through those struggles and feeling defeated and going through murky times, but in the end, a beautiful ending here. So that's kind of what I see here. And promise, new moon. Some of you may be, you know, deepening a connection here, maybe getting engaged, married, or uh, committing to one another. Definitely here. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. Some of you definitely is a new relationship. That's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.